many game developers are watching God of War's progress and hoping to get a better engine to develop their 3D game. But is Vulcan Renderer, improved particles and improved GD script gonna fix 3D for Godot? Probably not, and let's find out why. I'm Adrian, your host, and welcome to Redefine. Recently, I've been looking at a lot of Godot tutorials, and I stumbled upon Pixter's awesome bullet trails, and I implemented it for 2D, as in the tutorial, and it worked great. And by the way, it's a great tutorial, the link is in the description below. But I wanted to go further than that. Since I mostly develop 3D stuff, I wanted to make this tutorial in 3D. The bullet tutorial is centered around a node called Line 2D. Its main functionality is to draw lines on the screen for 2D games by specifying points either in the inspector or programmatically via code. And it works great for that. But when I searched for Line 3D, which coming from Unity I expected something like Line Renderer, to my surprise it was empty. There was no node called Line 3D. Yes, probably that's one of the first problems that Godot 3D game developers face when they switch engines or they start newly but they don't uh, know what's coming for them. So I asked around the Godot community and I got answers like oh just do a 3D cylinder in Blender or hack your way in by slapping a 2D canvas in 3D and emulating a, a line with a 2D line. But these solutions while they might work for a beginner and also a developer that doesn't want to waste time on these features that should be out of the box are pain because for 2D they exist, but for 3D they do not. So you see here how things start to add up and why Godot won't be fixed for 3D by just adding a new render. Because the problem are the basic functionalities that you expect either by changing engine and trying different ones and seeing, wait a second, for this and this it's no uh, support, so I guess I won't use it. And this is why a lot of 2D games have been released with Godot because the functionalities in 3D are simple, inexistent or less supported at the moment. But wait a second, Godot has a big community so probably the fixes are online. And luckily I got some line, to, line 3D nodes but there are some problems. First, they are scattered all over the place so for a beginner it's really hard to determine what is good and what is bad. The second one is the fact that most of these plugins work differently so you have to adjust them a little and it's not a straightforward fix for all of them. And lastly, not all of these plugins are properly updated and maintained. This is where Godot's 3D problems are. It's not in the render, which is not as good as the latest DirectX right now, or the occlusion calling. No, it's with simple features that you would expect coming from Unity or Unreal into Godot to not have them. And for 2D, most of them are there and are working fine. But the problem is, it's not only that, I mean Godot is, is not only for 2D games and for 3D games it creates a hassle for beginner developers to work on something with these kind of restrictions. By the way, if you want to be a game developer and don't know where to start, I've created this guide called Your First Steps in Game Development which you can find for free in the links down below. So up until this point, most of my Godot videos pointed out how good is Godot or how Godot is running out of money apparently. But the thing is, I just put opinions out there and nothing more. So it's time for me to up my game and just not comment the stuff that I don't like or like about the engine. So with this said, I want to announce an initiative from Redefine Game Dev called Godot 3D Hub. You can find this on my page and what exactly is, it's also community based by the way, where we will put 3D plugins for Godot that speak the same language, for example, that are um, very similar to install and are updated and of course if they have a 2D counterpart they should be one-on-one -on -one match with those or as similar as possible. If you want to contribute to this you also can find the information on that website so you can contact me there and we can discuss how we can make Godot better for 3D. If you like the content so far, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel because it helps me a lot. Coming back to the awesome trails, I wanted a line 3D so I started to create my own. Of course I took inspiration from the two ones that I mentioned earlier, but I added more features and of course I tried to make it similar to line 2D so that it can be easily integrated 
from other tutorials. I released the Line 3D add-on for free with the same license that Godot has, the MIT license. It's on Git. You can download it from the Godot 3D Hub page. The highlight for this add-on is the simplicity how it can be downloaded and activated in your project. And then via the editor, you can customize it as you would customize a Line 2D. The Godot team has their hands filled at the moment with the release of Godot 4. Of course, they have a lot of things going. So if you just look at their issues, it's a huge, huge list. We shouldn't expect for them to fix all of these problems that appear on both fronts, 2D and 3D. Let us make use of the strongest asset that Godot has, its community. So if you want to get involved in Godot 3D Hub or on Redefine Community, I wait you on Discord. By the way, links for Discord in the description down below. I'm Adrian and see you in the next one.